November 10th, National Marine Corps Day. I'm Maddie. And I'm Keegan. Please, Please stand, stand for, for the, the pledge. pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Word of the day. Today's word is triptych, a noun meaning a picture or carving in three panels side by side. For example, the panels of the triptych illustrated the three theological virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Theory Thursday, if you eat a polar bear liver, you will die because humans cannot handle that much vitamin A. <laughs> Joke of the day. What did the ignition say to the car keys? I don't know what. You really turned me on. <laughs> <laughs> now in today's news. There will be a class of 2020 freshman officer meeting today. In the upper cafeteria during, during enrichment, all officers are asked to attend. Thank you. Attention juniors and seniors. A representative from Allegheny College of Maryland will be here on Friday, November 11th during enrichment. Interested students should sign up in the Counseling Center by 3 p.m. today, November 10th. A representative from West Virginia University will be here on Monday, November 21st during enrichment. Interested students should sign up in the Counseling Center by 3 p.m. on Friday, November 18th. Do you like mysteries? Do you like comedies? Well, then we have a show for you. The student performance of Murders in the Air will take place next Thursday, November 17th at 1 p.m. in the cafeteria. Tickets will be on sale during lunch shifts through Wednesday, November 16th. Tickets are $3, and no late tickets will be sold. Buy your tickets today! Are you looking for a fun night out? Maybe looking to take that special someone out for dinner mm. and a show? Mm. Mm. Then come and see the evening performance of Murders in the Air. The show will take place November 18th and 19th with a pasta dinner beginning at 6 p.m. in the NHS cafeteria. The cost is $15 in advance or $20 at the door. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Verts, Ms. Garlitz, or a member of the cast, Honor Society, or Mock Trial Team. Attention all 10th grade students, if you are interested in the Hobie program or would like to be or would like more information about it, please see Mr. Hummel by Friday, November 11th. What do FFA, MacBooks, and Ponies for Everyone have in common? They are all a part of this week's addition to the Northern Bark. Go to the Vault's website and check it out. A reminder to the cast and crew of Murders in the Air. There will be after-school rehearsals next Tuesday and Wednesday, November 15th and 16th until 6 p.m. These are mandatory dress rehearsals, so plan accordingly. Do you love animals? Ooh. Heart for Animals is in need of volunteers. If interested, please call Judy Carbone, Carbone at 301-387-7729 or email judy at heartforanimals.org. Festival of Trees, November 22nd, 23rd, 25th, 26th, and 27th. Student assistance is needed to help set up decorating, displays, helping vendors parking, wardrobe room manager, Mrs. Claus Kitchen, Kids activities, help shoppers at the Elfenheim Mall, silent auction and cleanup and teardown. Interested students should contact Sherry Bradshaw at 301-746-8117 or email her at sherrybrad at verizon.net. You can also contact the Festival of Trees by going to www.fotgc.org. Camp Hickory will hold an open house on December 15th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Door greeters and other assistance are needed for this event. If interested, please call Jason Shank at 301-746-8461 or email Jason Shank at GarrettCountySchools.org. Stop! And donate to a worthy cause. There will be a jean and hat day this Friday, November 11th in honor of Haley Ross. Teachers can wear jeans for $5 and students can wear hats for $1. 
Money will be collected through Friday morning, November 11th. Buy your homeroom teachers. All benefits go to Haley Ross. Husky events. On Sunday, November 13th from 12 to 5 p.m., Girls Varsity and Boys Letterman's are hosting, hosting a benefit dinner for Haley Ross. There's no cost, just donation for the meal, with all money going directly to Haley. Band notes. On Saturday, November 5th, the Husky Marching Band participated in, in the 2016 Tournament of Bands A-Class Atlantic Coast Championships. The band went into the Group 1A competition seeded 14th but ranked 18th. After all the dust settled, our band increased its season score to 84.65 points and moved up one step in the rankings to 17th. A very good position considering they, there were a total of 55 bands which competed in this season. Our percussion section, made up of Dawson Beitzel, Riley Brick, Jacob Terry, Stefan Hoffman, Clay Frazee, and middle school members Jacob Green, Derek Skidmore, and Eric Artis, finished in 12th place overall. Congratulations to them. Once again, our soloists did a wonderful job. Solo parts were performed by Robert Vinegar, Olivia Bonnets, Madison Dolchin, Brian Tarisma, Taylor Wirtz, and middle school members Evan Beachy and um, Amariah Morris. Congratulations to them. Finally, congratulations to 26 bands that earned a spot on the one of the best Group 1 competitions ever. Now in sports news, the Husky Lady Volleyball team lost their playoff game to Allegheny on Monday night with the final match scores of 25-18 to 18, us, 25-23, to 25-15, to 15, and 25-22 to 22, them. The ladies ended their season with a record of 8 and 6. Lunch. Today's lunch is macaroni and cheese, peas, peaches, roasted garbanzo beans, and milk. Tomorrow's lunch is spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> Weather. Today's weather will be part partly cloudy with a high near 48. Yay. Today in history. On this day in 1865, Henry Wurz, a Swiss immigrant and the commander of Andersonville Prison in Georgia, was hanged for the murder of soldiers incarcerated there during the Civil War. Wurz was born in Switzerland in 1823 and moved to the United States in 1849. Wurz oversaw an operation in which the thousands of inmates died. Partly a victim of circumstance, he was giving, given few resources with which to work. And the As the Confederacy began to dissolve, food and medicine for prisoners were difficult to obtain. When the word about Andersonville leaked out, Northerners were ho horrified. Wurz was charged with conspiracy to injure the health of lives of Union soldiers and murder. Happy birthday to Nathan Sutton and Mrs. Terrio. Quote of the day. Today's quote is from James Whistler. An artist is not paid for his labor, but for his vision. Have a thoughtful Thursday. Thursday.